Hello everyone, welcome back. It is I, the Oscar-nominated a-hole, the a-hole who is sometimes sort of a troll, and today we're talking about two issues, both of which relate to Captain Marvel. So let's get first into the giant drop-off of the box office from Sunday to Monday uh, since it has been released. And as you can see here, um, the uh, daily profits have been going down. Uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday was 14%. Sunday was in the tw mid 20s, and now Monday, all the way to 70, almost to 72 percent, which is extremely bad. As, as, if you don't know, uh, from what I've stated in the past, that if it's anything above, uh, if it's anything, if you lose your second weekend, um, anywhere below 50 percent, that's really good. Uh, so in the 40s, um, you're doing excellent. Uh, if you're between 50 and 60, it's mediocre. And if you lose more than 60 or you're at 60, it's pretty bad. It's a bad situation. You don't want to be in that uh, that area. Um, just saying. So it's looking pretty bad for Captain Marvel. But... Uh, so I'm very excited to see what those second weekend box office numbers have to bring forth. And with this, it makes it very positive. Um, on top of that, the Chinese audience has actually lost a crap ton of money. I think even I think even more than that. They've lost tons of money in China, and the Chinese audiences don't like it. They're saying that it's um, that Brie Larson was not cast correctly, that, uh, it should have been someone else. Yes, we all think that. Uh, <laughs> uh, they were also saying that, um, uh, there was a lot of plot holes, uh, and that it was very boring. So, the ge three general main points that a lot of us, uh, definitely agree with. <laughs> because Brie Larson has the, pers uh, the personality of someone who is sucking a giant pussy toe. Now, the second issue that we're going to be talking about is that Rotten Tomatoes confesses openly to the New York Times um, the fact that they have actually come out and um, changed the whole uh, ag aggregate system for Rotten Tomatoes um, and how they do their reviews <clears throat> based solely on the fact of Captain Marvel's um, response from the audience. And, who oh, isn't... It's juicy in here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good job, Rotten Tomatoes. You have proven that you are rotten. So let's get right into it. As you can see here in this New York Times post, it says that a representative from Rotten Tomatoes, Dana Benson, said the change to its audience score had been in the works for a while, but that the attacks on Captain Marvel prompted them to roll it out earlier than planned. Boom! Dropped the ball. Or should I say, the rotten tomato fell on the ground, splattered, and someone slipped in it and created some of the most disgusting spaghetti sauce known to man. Thank you, Ms. Benson. Donna. Dana. Dana Spen Benson. Or Dana Benson. Thank you so much for proving that we were right. We were right all along. We basically said this. We were like, okay, sure, yeah, even if you were rolling it back a year, you would have made an announcement to people that, you know, within the coming week or so, we will be changing this. That is the the whole function of a corporation that you come out and you let everyone know, hey, by the way, we're going to do this, making sure they all you all understand this, when you all know, and you all get it. But no, what did you do? Oh, crap. Captain Marvel had a backlash. We don't want that backlash to be significant. We don't want it to actually work like it did with The Last Jedi and so on and so forth. So let's just... <coughs> um, let's not make another soy a soy war story. And let's, uh, let's change it so that Captain Marvel doesn't have to worry about it. Okay. Man, it's almost like we were right about you guys. <laughs> And what do you know, all these shill media articles, now they can go F themselves because we were right about it the whole damn time. And yet, when we go to Google, it states that Rotten Tomatoes is the home of the tomato meter and is the most trusted measurement of quality for movies and TV. Ha! I laugh. I laugh. I point the finger of scorn. I laugh at you so much. Ha ha ha. Are you ridiculous? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
is the most trusted source. That's why all of a sudden there's a quote unquote glitch in our system and we lose 54,000 votes and randomly allows the Rotten Tomato score to keep going up and though you can't post a negative review, you can be more than happy to post a positive review. Oh, by the way, did we, didn't we say that we were going to make this a year long, uh, a year long update that we had totally planned? Oh, that we also didn't let every, anyone know about and announce it or in any way, shape or fashion. Oh, and then we attacked fans because we were like, no, no, you were wrong, you were wrong, and now we're coming out like a couple of days later going, well, actually, uh, because of Captain Marvel, we, we decided to do it then. Oh, wow, 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 what, hold, hold up, hold up. So you're saying we're right and you're wrong. Okay, awesome. So you're not the most trusted uh, website because you're a bunch of hacks who don't care about what your uh, job is. You care about what your agenda is. Um, you're a bunch of self-made politicians who just have a corporate bank status. Uh, oh, because I work at a corporation, now I can use it to help my politics. No. No. I work at a grocery store. At a farmer's market grocery store. I don't go around and just preach my politics. I do my job. And then I leave. And then I go home. And then I sleep. And then I wake up. And I do it again. And then I get a paycheck. And then I cash it in the bank. And then I go back to sleep. And I wake back up. And go back to work. I don't go, hmm, how can I go and change the system? Like, are you kidding me? Your whole job is to to review movies. And you allow people to review movies. And that's all you're supposed to do. Just provide a service. You're not supposed to impede on that service. Anyways, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, like the video, dislike the video. Subscribe to my channel if you would do so. I'd be very much so appreciative of it. Uh, tell me your thoughts down below of this deliciously, deliciously tasteful situation. Captain Marvel losing money and the Rotten Tomato uh, coming out and saying, yeah, we did that. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day.